doorbell installation today. So I'm going to be connecting it to the mains. Um, and my setup, I'm going to be using the, the Google Home Mini, um, or the Nest Mini as they call it now, and the uh, Home Hub as well. But in addition to that, I'm also going to use this Honeywell Friedland Ding Dong doorbell, which is a model number D117. Um, and it's going to be connected to this transformer. So the mains connection come in through the bottom here, so these two ports, um, using this two core wire. Now you can use a plug on the other end of this, so you can plug it directly into a socket, but I'm going to try and uh, fit it directly into the mains. And the, the Nest doorbell works on a, a 12 to 24 volt uh, wattage, so, or voltage. So I'll be using terminals naught uh, or one and three, which is uh, 12 volts. And um, yeah, that's really important because the, the doorbell chime itself, it says it here it operates at eight to 16 volts, but just to be safe, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it down to the 12 volts uh, as suggested on their, their website, which I'll leave a link to all the, the, the specifications for that um, as well. So we'll be using um, some low voltage doorbell wire as well that will connect the back of the doorbell into the chime as well as the chime into the, the transformer itself. And this will all be housed in this Wilex uh, IP40 enclosure. So uh, the model number here is ESE2. Again, these two items were from Screwfix uh, in the UK. So uh, I'll leave links to those. And this is the box for the, the transformer itself. So. I'll come back with um, the, the video once we've, we've done the installation and I can walk you through just uh, how everything's all, all wired up. Right, so this is my setup, so hopefully this helps some of you. So I've gone with a plug uh, option. So I've connected the two core wire into this uh, plug socket here. Um, that then is housed in this uh, trunking and that goes along the top of my garage so that's the thicker trunking there and just got the live and neutral wires going into the transformer there in the, the housing I showed you before and then in the top I've gone for a 12 volt setup as I mentioned before so you've got the naught and the 12 uh, connections they then come into this uh, thinner trunking along here which then goes into the chime in the, the connection through there. But my doorbell is on the other side of this, this wall here, so I'll show you that in a bit. But the bell wire, so the two connections, it doesn't matter what order you put them in, uh, they go on the back of the, the nest. That, that's coming up here and then flows along as well in that same trunking into the chime. So I'll show you what that looks like now. So here we are indoors. Uh, so this is the chime on the other side of the wall from where the garage is. Um, so as you can see, there's no wiring sort of exposed anywhere here or by the front door as well. It's, it's completely clean and that, that's the look we wanted. So I tried to make it easy for you to follow. Um, so I've labeled the wires. So you've got the transformer wire coming through the wall here and you've also got the bell wire here. So essentially split the, the ends uh, with one of those connecting into this, uh, this joiner essentially here and the same one coming from the, the transformer, so split that. And then you've got this converter that's sitting at the bottom. So it's really important as well, just with all of this, that you're not obstructing any of the um, the, the chime in, inside here, the mechanical parts. This is what makes the noise. So some people have complained about this not making a, you know, the right sound, and that's likely to do with the uh, you know, wires and things obstructing that. So it's really important when I put this all back together to keep those out of the way. But back to this, so you've got this device that um, Nest provides, so it's like a converter, and there's essentially four wires coming off this. So I don't know if you can tell here, it's probably clearer in the, the other pictures that I had, but you have one of those with these two ends on, uh, one here 
and let's get this out of the way, one here. And that, where we split the wires, so the other wire that doesn't go into this connector, that goes into this terminal here. So that's like connected to the gray wire. And then there's the transformer one. That is also connected here to this white one on the, uh, this uh, device. And then you've got two additional wires that are coming out of here that connect into the 0F and or OF and T3 terminals. So I haven't got anything connected into one and two. All right, so I'll just show you the uh, how it all works essentially. So I'll put this back together and then I'll, I'll hit the doorbell from the outside. So here we are outside. So you see the doorbells were mounted here. We had that the bell wires behind this. So it's still a bit exposed. I'm gonna figure out how to tidy that up. They go through into the garage and as I showed you the connections back there, we connected into the chime. So when I ring the doorbell here, you'll hear um, how that works. So let's just stick the phone indoors. So it's not particularly loud, but I don't know if you can hear there, you've got the um, Nest Hub as well connected up. Um, so that, that announces someone's at the front door and you get the video feed. But the chime itself is 80 decibels. Uh, it should service this open area here. So all the rooms here and, and upstairs, it should be loud enough for that. Um, but yeah, the rest of the house, I'm gonna have the, the Google uh, Nest uh, assistant devices set up, so we should get, get notified in all areas of the house. Someone's at front door.